everybody should advise themselves oh, take the help you have take the help that they offer you it is not a right you are just a beggar and as an seeker, you are a beggar so whatever they give you you are set if you don't want it you go back from where you are coming from nobody beg you to come here eh? How you are doing? Good day to you all. Welcome back to another video of my channel. My name is Blessing and this is your Blessed Home TV. I welcome every one of you who is coming here for the first time. Don't hesitate to subscribe, hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you get to know whenever I upload a new video. I'd like to say thank you to every one of you who keep coming back, who watch my videos, who support me on this channel. I appreciate your support. Thank you so much. As you can see, the lockdown is gently being eased off here in Berlin, Germany. So you can see uh, a lot of people are out and about in the open so this is like a very big place it's a big park and the playground is also there and it's open so you can see that children are playing but the schools are still closed and uh, the kindergarten the nursery schools are still closed we don't know how long that is going to take and so yeah at least it is still uh, a gradual thing and uh, there are more realizations being done and stuff like that but that's not the point of this video in this video today i want to talk about a group of asylum seekers that made an organization that they call together we are bremen and they are basically on the streets of bremen protesting uh, about the accommodation that the German government has provided for them and this accommodation is something I made a video about it I called it anchor centrum you can find that video here right here so yeah this their protests have started since last year and uh, they were first of all protesting against uh, that deportation protesting against that isolation that they are going through in that place you know protesting uh, that they don't want um, people to be uh, housed in that place that they should close down that camp and they should stop the isolation and so since the beginning of this uh, corona crisis uh, there have been a lot of them who has gone out to make real big 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 protests and they are making demands basically on the german government and they say that they have come to bremen we have come here to stay and together we are going to fight together we have come to stay shut down all the camp no more camp life stop all the deportation all the isolation must end and all the do dung that they normally give them so the do dung is uh, the toleration so normally the government would give a period of toleration maybe why they are still deciding on on your asylum application or stuff like that so anyway i just want to talk about these demands that they are making on the german government that they don't want camps they don't want them to be in camps that they want them to renovate big buildings like this building you are seeing in this picture and they should renovate this building and give them rooms there and this one is also another building that they want uh, you can see in this building is um, it's like a hostel and they said instead of this A and O it should be open always for them and the one that is even like the one that is really crazy is they said that the government should renovate this palace that you are looking at this palace that is in this picture this palace is just renovate this palace for them and they put them inside there that the palace is empty so palace instead of camps you know and they don't want any deportation out of bremen they want to remain in that bremen you know i personally find this very very ridiculous so first of all you cross seven seas you cross seven oceans you cross the desert you came to a country that accommodated you and gave you a place to rest and gave you a place to sleep and even if you have demand you will be able to go for that demand diplomatically you know going you know, maybe writing it submitting it there are so many ways you can go about it but because you see that these people are respecting your human rights and they see you as a human and you want to stand on their head and ask them to renovate a palace and put you there and renovate a big house and give you their free and give you resident permit and no departition and uh, you know 
education for you everything that they are giving you already your government have never given you sir. so if you know how to fight like this why did you have to travel all this way to come here to see pastor why didn't you not stay where you were born where you are coming from and fight fight very well hmm? you see all this kind of mistake priority i could just make themselves look like babies give me give me give me give me give me only you you want to call it only you you want uh, no more uh, procedures only you you want them to give you uh, papers only you you want them to give you free education only you you want them to give you free accommodation only you, you you want them to open their borders so that you will come and that you will not need any resident permit only you so that your, their country will turn to a lawless country like the one you are running away from <sighs> you people should use your mind a little bit now i don't see this thing as a wise move at all how will you leave your country you, you leave your country you did not protest there you did not fight for your right there you will not come to a country that have given you refuge give you a place to sleep even give you food give you accommodation give you medical care most of the women that were protesting they had babies and they gave back to that baby here they did not pay a dime they went to the hospital they gave them everything free they carried their baby on their back and they are protesting on the same government that is helping them eh? even if you have complaint is that the right way to go about it the protest that you cannot do in your country that is what you want to come and do here because you see that they respect human rights eh? and you are now playing the opposition against each other because of your personal gain you say you want them to give you a resident permit how do you think that is even going to work you that they have not even given you anything who are they to you you are not even their citizen you are not anything to them they are just helping you and uh, they are not even helped to finish you're already making your demand eh? you say they should turn their palace into uh, an accommodation for you their citizens have not even seen that one and they should give it to you because you find your way here and they accepted you to have come inside eh? they have already made the law and said anybody that come they will have a central registration place where everybody will come together and they will process their application there and whoever is certified from that center will be reintroduced into the general population why do you want them to obtain their laws just to suit your benefit eh? if you know how to fight like that why are you coming here to come and fight you stay where you are born and fight eh? who you who born you who where you come from why do you want to come to another man that is not your father to fight for your rights in his house in the accommodation he has given to you okay you say that uh, you don't want that accommodation in that place and they are transferring you to other places you say you don't want them to transfer you out of that bremen that you are part of bremen now you just they come now you are just coming now and now you are already part of bremen you you belong to bremen and you don't want them to transfer you out of bremen uh -uh. you check it now what have you contributed eh? Do you think that if they open their borders like that, everybody will not feel it? Will it be able to contain all of the people again? Who do you think you are that you want to dictate to a people how they want to govern themselves? Is it not just mercy that they are using? Nobody owes you nothing. Nobody owes you anything. Get that into your head, my people. When you are coming to this European country, you should be satisfied with what you get. Nobody owes you anything. If you want to fight, you go home and fight. And when you see Biafrans fighting for Biafra, you will be laughing. But you want to come to Germany and fight for your rights in Germany. Why you are not even a citizen yet? Assuming that they have made you their citizen now, you can even say you are a citizen on the basis of that citizenship that you are fighting for your right. But but this one you are still a asylum seeker they never even write your name finish on the book eh? like how is this even going to help your asylum application you have singled yourself out and made yourself known that yes this is me i'm a troublemaker how are they going to allow somebody like that to even gain the permit that you are looking for you check it now so i want to advise every one of you that are seeking asylum and are going around making protests and want to uh, claim rights over people that are giving you something out of morality not that they must but they feel the moral uh, mercy to give you that you now want to claim the right they can also say that they are not doing again put all of you on the plane and deport you 
nothing will happen so everybody should advise themselves it's very wrong for you to be that madman that they are talking about in a proverb that they ask you to go and hide but you reach there and you are blowing whistle how can you be blowing whistle where they told you to go and hide you reach there you start to blow whistle this is me i'm here i've arrived eh? so you you think that the people will be looking and they will go and renovate palace and put you there so that you will live inside because you ran up to this place uh -uh. so anyway this is what i think about it if you ask me i say this is a very very wrong thing for them to do it is very very wrong for them to come all the way from africa to come and be making demands on german government and be telling german government how to run their country and be telling german government that they should not that they should give everybody citizen permit, that they should not deport anybody, that they should not transfer anybody, that they should not, no matter what your grievance is, is you have to appreciate the one they have done for you. And there are ways you can apply for that supplication and you will get everything you are looking for at the end, even the resident permit. But when you are fighting and you are fighting, who, who invited you to a wrestling match in the first place? Who? Who? Who is your father that is in, in heaven that you want to come and collect something from his hand? Eh? You don't know where your country is. All of you that came from wherever you came from, you did not see your country to go there and protest. You now come here to come and claim the right that you did not have in your country. Eh? Instead of you to be thankful for where you are, for what you have gotten. Eh? Or you find your way. If it is not favoring you, after all, they did not invite you. Did anybody write an invitation to you and say, come? You are the one that came by yourself looking for them. You came by yourself. So why are you putting a burden on people that did not invite you? You carry yourself and come to them and then you want to make demand on them. Hmm? Let everybody advise themselves because if this thing should continue like this, you will not like the outcome. Even all these are you people are that's even one of the protesters was saying, hey, This child, I gave birth to this child here, this child is gonna be the president of this country. Everybody should advise themselves, take the help you have, take the help that they offer you. It is not a right, you are just a beggar, and as I know, you are a beggar. So whatever they give you, you are set. If you don't want it, you go back from where you are coming from. Nobody beg you to come here. Eh? And you don't have any right to make demands on a government that is just having mess. You don't have any right to be making demands on a government that is just being considerate on you. Eh? It is not their obligation to do anything for you. It is the obligation of your own country, wherever you are coming from, to take care of you, to provide for you, to give you good education, to give you good accommodation. And whereby your own country cannot give you that, and you cannot even protest in your own country, you have no right to run to Germany to seek asylum and be claiming and demanding and be demanding for them to give you anything beyond what they have given you according to what they are capable and able to give you. You have no right, my people. Let everybody advise themselves. Go back home and rethink all this, your moves. Stop all this disgrace. You are disgracing yourself. You are not the only people that have come to seek asylum. You are not the first set of people that have come to seek asylum in this country. And you are not going to be the last. So stop closing the road for people who are coming in the front. Because they will say, oh, these ones, we accepted them. Look at what they did. Look at how they turned around. So they will stop accepting people. Right now, they have stopped accepting people into that camp. So anybody that is coming out, they are turning them back. Because you got there and they accommodated you, you now start making demand. They have closed that door to so many other people who are coming behind you. Eh? Is it right? Is it fair? Eh? So this is my own thinking about this thing that is going on. Anyways, this is all I have to say about this. Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think I'm not right in saying that they have no right to demand anything from Germany? Do you think that they have the right to come to Germany and seek asylum and make demands on the German government? Let's hear your opinion, write it in the comment section. Let's have this conversation, share your thoughts and opinion with us. Don't forget to join me, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye for now.